And starting on the pole. Out of Sparta, Missouri, will be the 55 of Kyle Lafferty. On the outside of him will be out of Branson, Missouri, car number 11, Justin Yako. Row number two on the inside from Fairgrove, Missouri, will be the 17L of Rick Rampy. On the outside, out of Ozark, Missouri, in car number 45, it'll be Colt Cheevers. Row number three on the inside will be the 74-2 of Justin Asher. And on the outside of him will be the R11 of Riley Duncan out of Lockwood, Missouri. And row number four on the inside will be the 12X of Darren Bird out of Marionville, Missouri. Eight laps will be your distance as we get ready to kick off the 2020 racing season. And on the outside of Darren Burt in the 52, it'll be McKenzie Tinderholt out of Galena, Missouri. Eight laps will be your distance as we get ready to kick off the 2020 racing season here at Springfield Raceway. 2019 brought us a great year of racing here at Springfield Raceway. 2020 is going to be even better, and we appreciate you guys coming out to kick off the season here. It's been a great off season, but it's time to get back at the racetrack and get racing underway here in Greene County at the quick quarter mile Springfield Raceway. Green flag in the air, we're racing. Kyle, Kyle Lafferty out in front there, coming into turn number two. As here comes the 45 of Cole Cheevers now on the inside of the 17L of Rick Lampy. Cheevers now in front of Lampy as they come out of turn number four, but taking lap number one will be the 55 of Kyle Lafferty. Lafferty still your leader. As Cheevers was reeling in the 55 of Lafferty as they go into turn number three. Cheevers now on the inside of Lafferty as they come out of turn number four. Two laps in. Kyle Lafferty still your leader. Cheevers second in the 17L of Rick Lampy third. Kyle Lafferty doing a great job holding off the 45 of Cole Cheevers as there are three laps in. As Tenderhood, lap traffic there, going down low as now, Cheever is now in front of Lafferty as they go into turn number three and four. Coming out of four, we'll see if the 45 of Cheever is being able to hold off Lafferty, and he does, and we got a new race leader on lap number four. Four laps in, four more laps to go. Cheever's way out in front in first, Kyle Lafferty in second, Lampy in third in the 17L. Five laps in, Cheevers still your leader. As a 74 of uh, Justin Asher now on the inside of Lampy there for third as they go to turn number three. Six laps in, Cheevers still out in front. The big lead on the 55 of Lafferty. Keep your eye there on that battle there for third as the 74 of Asher now in front. But Lampy's not backing down as the white flag is out for the 45 of Colt Cheevers. Cheevers just has two more turns to go and half a straightaway to kick off the 2020 racing season with a heat race win, the 45 of Colt Cheevers. The 55 of Kyle Lafferty second and the 74 of Justin Asher third. Jeremy Leahy. On the outside of Jeremy Leahy in car number 33. He was last year's Midwest Mod B class champion. Jared Martin out of Republic, Missouri. Row number two on the inside. It will be the 9H out of Trent, Missouri. Cameron Haynes. And on the outside of him will be the 77 out of Nixa, Missouri. Frank Westcavage. Row number three on the inside will be the 414 of Derek Davis out of Grove Spring, Missouri. On the outside of him will be the 57 of Austin Dixon out of Ozark, Missouri. 
In row number four, it'll be out of Republic, Missouri, Matthew Maines in the 9M. Green flag in the air, Racer. Ready to come out of turn number two with Martin right there on the back bumper as they go into turn number three. We'll see you as they come out of turn number four. He will take lap number one as Leahy taking lap number one. One lap in. And here's Jeremy Leahy, your leader. Jared Martin in the 33 in second. As here comes the nine of Haynes right on the back bumper of Martin as they come out of turn number four. Caution on the speedway. We got caution on the speedway. Piece of debris on the front stretch, it looks like. Good thing about opening day of racing, as you can see what all the drivers and crews have been working on all off season. Great looking cars, a lot of hard work goes into the off season. And these drivers are anxious to get back behind the wheel of these modifieds and put on a great show for you guys here tonight. One lap in, seven more to go. The 20 of Jeremy Leahy, your leader. Jared Martin in third, three in second. And the nine H of Cameron Haynes in third. With the 77 of, 77 of Frank Cabbage in fourth. Green flag back in the air. Risa. Lady come out, turn number two, still your leader. As Haynes, right on the back bumper of Martin. Haynes down, Haynes goes up high, they do the crossover move now on the inside of Martin. Haynes now in second. Two laps in. Leahy in the 20 trying to hold off the nine of Haynes. As they go down the back stretch, Leahy still going to really go into turn number three. Three laps in. Haynes now showing the nose there on the left rear corner of the 20 of Leahy as they're side by side going down the back stretch. Coming out of turn number four, will we have a new race leader? No, the 20 of Leahy, holding off the nine of Haynes. As they come out of turn number two. Two more laps to go for the 20 of Jeremy Leahy. As a nine H of Jeremy Haynes. Now, we gotta make a move right now because his laps are dwindling down. As they're side by side, going to turn number four. Out of turn number four, white flag in the air. One more lap to go for the 20 of Jeremy Leahy. Leahy doing a great job pulling off the nine of Haynes. As they come out of turn number four. Checker flag in the air for the 20 of Jeremy Leahy. Taking heat race win number two. So from Clever, Missouri, the 20 of Jeremy Leahy. Starting off the season great there with a heat race win and heat race number two. As heat race number three now pulled out onto the racetrack. And starting on a pole out of Crane, Missouri, in the 12M will be Rotten Maples. On the outside in car number 24, or out of Joplin, Missouri, to be Gilbert Rowan. Row number two on the inside out of Goodfield, Illinois, will be the 16 of Tim Mullins. And on the outside in corner, number 83 out of Willard, Missouri. He was your Midwest Mod A class champion of 2019, the 83 of Scott Campbell. Row number three on the inside will be the 9X of Jared McIntyre out of Joplin, Missouri. And on the outside of him will be the 51 of Ken Walker out of Springfield, Missouri. And row number four on the inside will be the 75 of Gage Garrett out of Joplin, Missouri. Lights are off. Eight laps will be your distance. Seven cars in heat race number three. 
Rain Flag in the air. Ron Naples out with a great start. We got a free ride coming out on turn number two. Now it's straightening it out now as the Scamp Campbell's in second. Taking lap number one with a 12 M of Ron Maples, your leader. Caution comes out as we've been told of debris in turn number two. Our safety crew there picking up the piece of sheet metal there. And we'll get the track clear here. So the 12M of Ron Maples, your leader. The 83 of Scott Campbell in second. A really good run there for the 24 of Gilbert Rowan there in your third spot. As they were battling there three wide, but he kept right up there in front at 24. Of Gilbert Roy, and it'll be the 16 of Tim Mullins. Rain flying back in the air. Racer. Maples come out of turn number two, your leader is Campbell in second. Gilbert in third, it's 16 of Mullins in fourth. Come out of turn number four. Ron Maples still your leader. Gilbert and Mullins battling back there for third, side by side battle as they go to turn number two and down the back stretch. Gilbert on the inside, Mullins on the outside as they go to turn three and four. It's still your leader, the 12 of Maples. Campbell. In second, as now Mullins now pulled away for the 24 of Gilbert. As Mullins now in third, Gilbert will fall back to fourth. For Ron Naples, your leader. Last year's point champion. In second, 83 of Scott Campbell. Campbell is gaining ground there on the 12 of Maples. We'll see if he got enough time to catch the 12 him. Two more laps to go. Will Campbell have anything for the 12 of Maples? Or will Maples be able to hold off Campbell? Right flag being waved. One more lap to go for the 12 in of Ron Maples. Maples coming out of turn number four. As McIntyre is battling there for Mullins, there for third, but Maples will hold on to the lead. Campbell second, and Mullins third. As McIntyre was trying to make a late run there on the 16 on Mullins. Came up just a tad bit short there. But your heat race winner, number three, goes to the 12M of Ron Maples. Here he goes, starting on the pole out of Springfield, Missouri. It'll be the seven of Patrick Whittington. On the outside of him will be the 59 of Sparta, Missouri, Rob Muhlenberg. Row number two out of Joplin, Missouri. And the six H on the inside will be Will Hibden. And on the outside out of Joplin, Missouri, in car number one, it'll be Nathan Breezy. Breezy. Row number three on the inside will be the 15B of Jason Breezy, and on the outside of him, out of Galena, Kansas, with a 20J of Britain Jordan. 
And starting seventh will be the 22 out of Waitwin, Missouri, uh, Jacob Hall. Remember, eight laps will be your distance as the drivers are rolling in that top there. Jerry Hoffman out there on the floor. Him and Mother Nature must have a great relationship because you couldn't ask for much better weather here at the beginning of March to kick off the racing season for 2020. The lights are off. Stacking them up side by side. No star. We appreciate all the hard work and many years of dedication from former flagman Keith Pratt, but now on the flag stand, joining us this season is Keith Foreman. We appreciate him coming on board for the 2020 season. As didn't like that start there, so we're going to try it again. The lights are off. Get ready to go racing here. We'll see if they can get it this time. Green flag in the air. Racer. Neil on board, off like a rocket up out in front. As he comes out of turn number two. The one on Nathan Breezy in second. As Millenberg comes out of turn number four, still your leader. We have two laps in this race. As a 20J of Britton Jordan in third, and a 6H of Will Hibden in fourth. Three laps in, Muhlenberg. Ozarks Racers Hall of Famer out in front. He got inducted this pass off season into the Ozarks Racers Hall of Fame. And starting off a great year, 2020 out in front and he raced number four. As Hibden now trying to battle there for the third spot there with Jordan in the 20J. Hibden on the inside, Jordan on the outside. Jordan doing a great job holding off the 6H of Hibden. As Bielenberg coming into turn number four. With a big lead there on the one of Nathan Breezy. But Jordan finds some horsepower there in that Midwest mod as he's getting ground there on the one of Breezy as they go to turn number three. They get the white flag will be the 59 of Muhlenberg. One more lap to go for him. Millenberg going to the turn number four. Now coming out of four, seeing the checkered flag again. He raced with number four. So your heat race number four winner goes to the 59 of Rob Muhlenberg. That will do it for our Midwest Ma Heat Races as now the Pure Stocks come on out onto the racetrack for heat race number one. Starting on a pole out of Springfield, Missouri to be 124 of James Reedus. On the outside of him in car number 51 from Ash Grove, Missouri to be Randy High. Row number two on the inside out of Buffalo, Missouri to be the 12S of Christopher Sawyers. On the outside of him and starting fourth from Buffalo, Missouri, it'll be a 23 of Mark Simon. 
Row number three on the inside. It'll be the 33-33 of Rattle Road, Missouri of Robert High. On the outside of him will be the 64. Out of Aurora, Missouri of Brandon Sanders, starting six. Row number four on the inside, starting seven from Mexico, Missouri, but it's 12 of Parker Smith. And on the outside of him will be the eight. Will be the 20 of Jacob Cater out of Springfield, Missouri. And starting ninth out of Climax Springs, Missouri, it'll be the 13 of Jeremy Townsend. Eight laps will be your distance. As green flag in the air, Reed us lead them down the front stretch. As we're three wide already there. Sawyer, Simon, and the 51 of Randy High, all battling there for a second spot. As now Simon there on the inside down low of the 124, James Reedus, but Reedus hold off Simon to take lap number one. James Reedus, your leader. Simon in second, the 23. Randy High in third in the 51. Simon now on the inside of Reedus as they go into turn number four. Out of four down the front stretch. Simon, your new race leader as he takes lap number two. Randy High in the third spot as Simon. Coming down the front stretch, taking lap number three, still your leader, the 23 of Mark Simon. As Robert High in the 12. And so Christopher Sawyers battling back there for fourth. As now High, Randy High in the 51, working on the back end of the 124, James Reedus. There for a second. Then out in front, still the 23 of Simon as they come down the front stretch. Simon, having a 34 car length lead on the 124 of Reedus. The 51 of high end third. Two more laps to go for the 23 of Simon. One twenty-four of Reedus in second, the fifty-one of Randy High in third, Robert High in fourth, white flag in the air for the twenty-three of Mark Simon. Randy High and Robert High rallying there for third as the checkered flag waves for the twenty-three of Mark Simon. James Reed is second, 124 in the 51 of Randy High in third. So your heat race winner number one in the Pure Stocks goes to the 124 from Springfield, Missouri of James Reedus. Here we go. Coming out on the racetrack is the Pure Stock Heat Race number two. And starting on the pole on the five DJ, it'll be DJ Barnes on the outside of this. And row number one will be the seven K of Carl Lampy. Row number two on the inside from Kemet to Missouri, starting third will be the eleven of Waylon Dimmit. And on the outside, it's starting fourth will be 65 out of Springfield, Missouri, of Larry Hedrick. Row number three on the inside will be the 22 out of Stratford, Missouri, of Kyle Purvis. And on the outside of him, it'll be starting six will be the five of Kyle Rowan. And row number four on the inside will be the 174 of Derek Lampy out of Springfield, Missouri. And on the outside of him will be the 74 of Scott Lampy out of Fairgrove, Missouri.
We Parker Smith there from race number one getting a push there from the tow truck there. Hopefully it'll be a quick fix there for the 12 of Parker Smith from heat race number one to get his car ready for the feature later on this evening. The Pure Sox will be with us in two weeks for the March Madness. They'll be competing for $250 to win. So you guys want to be making sure that you're here for that on Saturday, March the 21st for the March Madness in two weeks. Green flag in the air. We're racing. B.J. Barnes in the 7K of Carl Ampey battling there for the lead down the back stretch. Side by side as they go into turn number three. Barnes on the inside, Lampy on the outside. As they come down the front stretch, Carl Lampy taking lap number one in the 7K. Barnes in the five and second. As Kyle Purvis there in the third spot. Come out, turn number two, still your leader in the 7K of Lampy taking lap number two. Barnes in still in second in the fifth spot. As Kyle Rowan catching the 22 of Kyle Purvis there. As Rowan now looking on the inside of the 22 of Purvis, but Purvis pulled away down the front stretch, holding on to that third spot there, the 22 of Kyle Purvis. But having a two car length lead out in front, the 7K of Carl Lampy in front of the 5 DJ of DJ Barnes. Down turn number four out of the front stretch to 7K of Carl Lampy, still your leader. Coming up on lap traffic here. As Carl Lampy going into turn number four. Two more laps to go for the 7K of Lampy. Barnes in second, the five, and Purvis in the 22 in third. White flag is out. One more lap to go for the 7K of Carl Lampy. DJ Barnes in second, Kyle Purvis in third, and Kyle Rowland in fourth. Checker flag in the air for the 7K of Carl Lampy, your heat race winner number two. That will wrap it up for our heat races for our pure stocks. As up next will be our USRA B mods. As this will be a national points race. To kick off the 2020 racing season here at Springfield Raceway as they come out on the racetrack for heat race number one. Here we go, starting on a pole. Out of Baldwin City, Kansas, in the 17X of Jeremy Chambers. On the outside in car number 75, out of Carl Junction, Missouri. Starting second will be Shannon Aniston Polos. Row number two on the inside in car number 15 out of Fairgrove, Missouri, will be Caden Stacy. On the outside of him, in car number 17 from Wheatwood, Missouri, it'll be the 17 of Mike Striegel. Row number three on the inside of Urbana, Missouri, in car number eight, it'll be Dylan McCowan. On the outside of him, starting six out of Neil Show, Missouri, been the 19L of Stetson Johnson. And row number four on the inside. Out of Chattanooga, Kansas, it'll be 98K of Kenton Allen, starting seventh. And on the outside of him, starting eighth, it'll, out of, it'll be the 88H of Lonnie Hibner. 
Lights are off, eight laps to be your distance. Green flag in the air. We're racing. Chambers out in front as Edison Polo and Streetle battling back there for a second. As they come out of turn number four, Chambers taking lap number one, Streetle in second, and Sempolo in third, McCowan in fourth. As the caution flag waves for the 19, I believe 19L of Stetson Johnson. Bring out the caution as he turned around there and turned number one and two. So I was being told that the lineup is good. So your leader will be the 17 of uh, Chambers in second will be the 17 X of Chambers and second will be the 17 of Mike Striegel and then third will be the 75 of Shannon Eniston Polo. Dylan McCowan in fourth. Green flag here, Risa. Striegel come out, turn number two, your leader as Chambers on the outside of Striegel as they go to turns three and four. Chambers doing a crossover move now on the inside of Striegel as they come out of front stretch. Striegel, your right race leader. As Chambers staying right there with him, it's the battle of the 17s up in front. Come out of turn number four. Striegel still hold on to the lead, but coming up on the 17 X of Chambers is the eight of McCowan. As McCowan now, looking on the inside of Chambers, but Chambers now laying the hammer down there and on the inside of the 17 of Striegel as they come out of turn number four. Good race so far to kick off the 2020 recent season for USRA Beamonts. Ash Triegel still your race leader. Caution on the speedway. As we got, I believe, the 88H of Lonnie Hibner on the inside of turn number four. So here we go. The 17 of Mike Striegel will have his hands full now. As the 17 X of Jimmy Chambers in second. The young man there in the eight of Dylan McCowan in third. Green flag back here, Risa. As caution on the speedway, as the 19 L of Stetson Johnson at a stop there on the front stretch, as that is two cautions brought out by him, so he's being told to make his way to the pits. Roll here at Springfield Raceway. If you cause two cautions by yourself, you will be told to head to the pits. So he's making his way to the pits. So Striegel will have to do it again. We'll see if he can hold off the 17X of Jeremy Chamber Chambers. Bill McCowan in the eight, still in third. And the 98K of Keaton Allen in fourth.
Here we go, lights are off. Green flag back in the air as Trigo leads him down the front stretch. McCallan and Chambers battling there for second as they come down to turn number two. Chambers pulled away from the McCallan now has his eyes set on the 17 of Striegel. Striegel doing a great job up front holding off the 17 X of Chambers as Chambers drives it in hard in turn number three and four. White flag in the air, one more lap to go for the 17 of Striegel. Dylan McCallan showing his nose on the inside of the 17X of Chambers as they're side by side, but no, the 17X of Chambers hold off the second spot. Roy York, he raced winner number one in the USRA B mods. He will go to the 17 of Mike Striegel. Here we go, heat race number two, pulling out onto the racetrack. Starting on the pole out of Richmond, Missouri, number 24, of Jerry Ellis. On the outside, in car number seven, starting seven, second, it'll be the 37 of Quint Johnson. Row number two, on the inside, it'll be the 112 of Justin Cromer, out of Joplin, Missouri. And starting fourth out of Springdale, Arkansas, the 17H, it'll be Weston Holman. Row number three on the inside. Out of Grove, Oklahoma, it'll be the 88 of Brandy, Brady Hutchinson. On the outside of him out of Lebanon, Missouri, it'll be the 28B of Wesley Briggs. Row number four on the inside will be the 90 of Josh Ferris. And on the outside will be the 18 of J.C. Morton out of Springfield, Missouri. As it looks like the 28B of Wesley Briggs choosing to go tailback. So that will move the 17 of Weston Holman on the outside of the 12 of Justin Comer. No start. So the driver's being told they want them side by side, even with each other. Getting lined back up. Caution is still out. This is your first time here at Springfield Raceway. We want to welcome you as the drivers are being told how the start should be through a race receiver. And all the drivers have a race receiver. And then race director can talk to the drivers. Green flag in the air, we're racing. Clint Johnson out in front in the 37 as Comer and Ellis battling there for a second. Come out of turn number four. It'll be 37 of Clint Johnson, your leader on lap number one. Justin, the 18 of J.C. Morton in second. Well, what a great run that he had in, four, in one lap as he's already up in second. Justin Comer in third as we're two laps in. Your leader to 37 of Quinn Johnson. 18 of Morton Cow, turn number four down the front stretch there in second. As now Holman is 17 H battling there with the 24 of Ellis there for fourth. Holman on the inside, Ellis on the outside of the 24 as they go to turn number three and four. Well, your top two or your top three all separated. Apart there, as the 37 of Johnson come out of turn number four. Your leader, the 18 of Morton in second, and the 12 of Comer in third. Two more laps. 
laps to go for the 37 of Quinn Johnson. 18 of J.C. Morton in second. As Johnson comes out of turn number one, number four down the front stretch, get the white flag, one more lap to go. Johnson come out of turn number four, checker flag in the air for the 37 of Quinn Johnson. 18 of J.C. Morton second, and that's 12 of Justin Comer. In third. So your heat race number two winner goes to 37 of Quint Johnson. Two more heat races. Here we go. Sorry on the pole. It'll be the 7V of Carter Van Bienenberg. On the outside of him in the 9H out of Trent, Missouri, starting second, it'll be Nicholas Hayes. Row number two on the inside out of Republic, Missouri, starting third, it'll be the 33 of Danny Martin. On the outside of him, starting fourth, it'll be the 50 of Tyler Hibner. Row number three on the inside out of Springfield, Missouri, will be the 66 of Ryan Gilmore. And on the outside of him in the red one, it'll be the one of Dan Wheeler. And row number four will be the 52 of Joe Rudy. And on the outside of him will be the C3 of Chad Stasis. Green flag in the air, we're racing. Nicholas Haynes out in front, the seven of Van Dienenberg, him second. As they come out, turn number four. And Haynes taking lap number one in the nine. Van Dienenberg in second, the seven, and the 50 of Hipner in third. As the caution comes out, as the 33 of Danny Martin and the 52 of Joe Rudy. Went around there and turned the exit of turn number two. So they will go to the rear of the field, go tailback. as the B-Mods we competing for $1,000 going home to the feature winner tonight to kick off the 2020 racing season here at Springfield Raceway. Once again, just a reminder, in two weeks, we'll have next Saturday off. The following Saturday, March the 21st, it'll be the March Madness, with the main event being the late models, $4,000.
be going home to the late model feature winner on March Madness night. The B-Mods will also be running, so we'll be competing for $500 on March the 21st. March Madness night, the grandstand gates will open at about 4, hall laps at 5, pit gates will open at 1.30. As they come down the front stretch to the flag stands. Lights are off. Green flag in the air. We're racing. Haynes or leader as he goes into turns one and two. The 50. As the caution comes out for the 52 of Rudy. Joe Rudy bringing out the caution there. And turn number four. So he'll tag the rear of the field again. So the 9-H of Nicholas Haynes is your leader. The 50 of Tyler Hibner, he in second. And the 7-V of Carter Van Deenberg in third. Green flag back here, we're racing. Haynes up, you up front, you're ready to go to turn three and four. Has Van Nienenberg on the, in the third spot there, looking like he is competing there for the second spot there for the 50 of Hibner. The Hibner pulled away there from Van Nienenberg as the 50. Of Hipner is in second, has his eyes set on the 9-H of Haynes. As Van Nienenberg and Hipner now battling there for a second, side by side, going down the back stretch. Van Nienenberg on the inside, him there on the outside. As they come down the front stretch, two more laps to go for the 9-H of Haynes. As now Van Nienenberg up in second. As now he'll be on the back bumper and now on the inside of the 9-H of Haynes. As they come down the front stretch, one more lap to go. We got a new race leader, the 7-V of Carter Van Nienenberg. Two more turns to go and half a straightaway. As they go to turn number four, out of turn number four, getting the checkered flag with a 70 of Carter Vendenberg. Your heat race winner number three, the 9-H of Nicholas Haynes, second, and the 50 of Tyler Hipner, fourth, or third.
Heat race number four, the final heat race for our B-Mods coming out right now. Sariana Paul out of New in Missouri. It'll be the 37X of Jacob Horn. Starting second out of Carthage, Missouri. He was your 2019 track champion, the 21 of Jackie Dalton. Row number two on the inside out of Lebanon, Missouri. He was the 2019 USRA BMON National Champion, the 65 of Chris Jackson. And on the outside of him, out of Mount Vernon, Missouri, starting fourth with 34 of Donnie Ost. Row number three on the inside. It'll be a 52. Uh, Jaron Munger. And on the outside of him will be the 21A of Luke Atkin out of West Plains, Missouri. Once again, we want to thank all the track sponsors coming on board for the 2020 racing season. Raleigh Auto Parts, SRC Holdings, Hayden Machinery, Indigo Sky Casino, Casey's General Store, Bad Boy Bowers, Wheeler Metals, Pepsi, and Price Electric Co. As the lights be going off, we're looking for the green flag next time. Jacob Horn and Jackie Dalton, your front row. Green flag in the air, racer. Dalton, can I turn number four, your leader, Jackson, in the 65 in second. The 37 of Jacob Horn in third. Dalton, still your leader. Coming out the front stretch. Two laps in. As the checker flag waves. As we got the 52 M of Jared Munger in the infield there. So the 21 of Jackie Dalton, your leader, the 65 of Chris Jackson in second. The 37 of Jacob Horn in third. And the 34 of Donnie Ost in fourth. Here we go. Lights are off. Your 2019 track champion, Jackie Dalton, your leader. Your 2019 USRA B-Mod national champion in second to 65 of Chris Jackson. Green flag back out, we're a racer. Dalton trying to hold off Jackson as Jackson looking on the inside of the 21 of Dalton as they come out of the front stretch. Jackie Dalton still in the world leader. Jackson still on the inside of 21 of Dalton. 
Ball now pulled away there. Canal going to turn number three, but the 65 of Jackson trying to reel back in the 21 of Dalton as they go down the front stretch. Good race going on up front as the caution flag comes out for the 34 of Donnie Ost. As he brought out the caution there on the front stretch. So 34, Donnie Oss will tag the rear of the field. As your lineup will be good right as it is now. As the 21 of Jackie Dalton. Doing a great job holding off last year's national point champion. Green flag back in the air. Risa. Jackson tried a different groove of the quick quarter battle Springfield Raceway. As now he's on the top, top side of the 21 of Dalton. As they come out turn number four. We got a new race leader in the 65 of Chris Jackson. Dalton staying right there with Jackson though. As Jackson comes out of turn number four. Two more laps to go for the 65 of Chris Jackson. 52 of Jaron Munger, Ian Fern. As Jackson comes out of turn number four, white flag in the air, one more lap to go. Checker flag in the air for the 65 of Chris Jackson. 21 of Jackie Dalton second, the 52 M of Jared Munger third. What a great run there for the 65 of Chris Jackson. As he was trying the bottom, but the bottom wasn't working out so well for him, so he went up high on the outside of 21 of Jackie Dalton, and he's going to be your heat race winner number four. Heat race number five coming out of the racetrack now. Eight laps to be your distance. Starting on the pole, we need a 55B of Bill Schnuber. start. As the caution flag is out. All right, so you're, you got a new front row as row number two has went up front there. Bear with me as we're trying to get the names. I know a, name, a few of the names, but not all of them, as the green flag is back out. Rohesa, as the 31 of Kraft is your leader. in
As I believe your leader is the 134 of Robert Hydrin out of Ball River, Missouri. Robert Hadrian, Hadrian Wrench, you are leader, the 134 out of Ball River, Missouri. Bill Shanuber in second, and the 55, and the 21 of Luke Light in third. White flag in the air, one more lap to go for 134. Uh, Hayden Rich. Bill Schneeberg in second, the 55. And cut out of turn number four, getting the checkered flag will be the 134. Uh, Robert Hayden Rich for heat race number five. That will wrap it up for our USRA Beaumont Heat Races. As we get ready for the Legend Heat Races, we'll have two heat races for our Legends. Here they come out of the racetrack, starting on the pole of 28, out of Rolla, Missouri, be the Steve Hershberger on the outside of him in 18S will be Ryan Sullivan. Row number two on the inside, starting third of Rogers, Arkansas, will be the 29 of Chris Powell. And on the outside of Glenn, Arkansas, will be the 31 of Mike Gilbert. Row number three on the inside will be the 95 of Scott Kelly. And on the outside of him will be the 29R of Richard Powell. As the red will come out, as we got four cars up on the front stretch there, the I apologize as I was reading off the legend heat race order, but our many late models are out onto the racetrack now for their heat race. And we got the zero of Art Westbrook. Looks like he's out of his car. A lot of So, a lot of movement going on, and that's a good sign from the drivers there. Everybody getting out of their cars there. All right, the caution, right, coming back on, caution flag, coming back out. 
We want to wish Mason Griffin a happy birthday. Happy birthday goes out to Mason Griffin. We want to wish him a happy birthday. All right. So I got the right line up here. And we'll see who all survived that accident down the front stretch. He only did one quarter of Tom Scroggins. And then be the 07 of Scott Sofa. I believe the in the 08 of Wyatt Sofa. The 99 of Eric Hawkins. The 477 of Randall Sofa. The zero of Art Westbrook. And the 99H. an 0-9-er of Angela Sofa. Here we go. So lights are off. Eight laps will be your distance. Green flag here. We're Tom Scroggins, your leader. Ascot Sofa. In second, the 99 of Hawkins has a lot of quarter of Scroggins goes around. Caution comes out. That could have been bad, a lot worse. But everybody had a quick reaction and went around the one quarter of Tom Scroggins as he went around there in turn number three and four. So the one quarter is Tom Scroggins, who attacked the rear of the field there. So your new race leader will be 07, of Scott Sofa. Trying to get the line up here straightened out. As I believe the 99, the 99 and the 08 will go in front of the zero.
All right, now we got it straightened out now. Scott Sofa, your leader to 99 of Eric Hawkins in second. And the 08 of Wyatt Sofa in third. Scott Silva, your leader, has Wyatt Silva. And our Westbrook battling there for a second. Wyatt Silva on the inside, our Westbrook on the outside as they go to turn number three and four. Cut out of four, senior leader, the 07 of Scott Silva. And the OA of Wyatt Silva and the zero of our Westbrook battling there for a second. Ryan Silva in the way on the inside. Art Westbrook in the zero on the outside, but still out in front. The 07 of Scott Silva. Three, four car wings in front of the battle there for a second. Nine, nine of Eric Hawkins in fourth. As the 08 of Ryan Silva is now starting to pull away from the zero of Art Westbrook. As the 07 of Scott Silva will have two more laps to go. So next time the 07 of Scott Silva will be getting the white flag. White flag in the air, one more lap to go. The 08. A Wyatt Sofa in second. Zero Bart Westbrook in third. As Scott Sofa comes down the front stretch, getting the checker flag for your heat race win. The 08 of Wyatt Sofa second. The zero of Art Westbrook third. And the 99 of Eric Hawkins fourth. So we'll try this again now as the legends come out again. So I'll go over this lineup again. Starting on the pole. From Raw, Missouri will be the 28th of Steve Harshbarger. Run number two starting second will be the 18S of Ryan Sullivan. Run number two on the inside will be the 29 of Chris Powell. And on the outside of him will be the 31 of Mike Gilbert. And row number three on the inside will be 95 of Scott Kelly. And on the outside of him will be the 29R of Richard Powell. Rain flag in the air. Race up. Harsh Barger, your leader, going to turn number two. That's 18 of Ryan Sullivan on the outside of the 20H of Harsh Barger as they go into turn number four. Who will take lap number one as they come down the front stretch will be the 20H of Steve Harsh Barger, your leader. Harsh Barger and Sullivan still battling side by side there for the lead. As they go into turn number four. As they're coming down the front stretch, we got a new race leader. The 18 of Ryan Sullivan, your new race leader. Two laps in. As Gilbert battling there for third. 
With the 29 are Richard Powell. The pull away out front is the 18 of Ryan Sullivan. As now, Richard Powell rolling in at 28 to Steve Harshbarger. As Powell now on the inside of Harshbarger there for a second. Now the 29R of Richard Powell in second. The 31 of Mike Gilbert now trying to hold on that third spot, spot there as he is battling there with the 20 of Steve Harshbarger. Still out of front, it's the 18 of Ryan Sullivan. Ryan Sullivan going to turn number three. Now four, when he comes out of the four, white flag in the air, one more lap to go for the 18 of Ryan Sullivan. Come out of turn number four, the 18 of Ryan Sullivan in a 29R of Richard Powell. So your heat race winner number one will go to the 18 of Ryan Sullivan. He race number two out of the racetrack now. Starting on the pole out of Rolla, Missouri. It'll be the TH of Steve Harshbarger. On the outside, it'll be the 01 of, out of Kansas, it'll be Chase Gilbert. Row number three on the inside. It'll be the 33 of Bryson Smith out of Nixon, Missouri. And then the 95M, it'll be the Mike Mueller and in the 51 it'll be Joe Phillips green flag here Racer Harsh Barger in the 95 of Mike Mueller. Battling there is Mueller now out in front. As Harsh Barger now battling with the 33. Of Bryson Smith. As we're single file now all the way around the quick quarter mile Springfield Raceway. 95 of Mike Mueller. Your leader, the 10 H of Steve Harshbarger in second. And Bryson Smith in the 33 in third. Mike Miller coming out of turn number four. Still your leader. Steven Harshbarger Jr. in second. As the 95 of Mike Miller comes out of turn number four, two more laps to go. White flag in the air, one more lap to go.
checkered flag in the air for the 95 of Mike Mueller. All right, coming out on the racetrack now is our Midwest Mod B feature number one. B feature number one for our Midwest Mods. Starting on the pole will be the 17 L of Rick Lampy on the outside of him will be the 24 of Gilbert Rowland. Row number two on the inside will be R11 of Riley Duncan on the outside of him will be the 75 of Gage Garrett. Row number three on the inside will be the 12 of Darren Burt. On the outside of him will be the 9X of Jared McIntyre. Row number four on the inside will be the 11 of Justin Yako. And on the outside of him will be the 51 of Kim Walker. Green flag in the air, Lisa. Rick Lampy, your leader. Riley Duncan in second. Gage Garrod in third as they come out of the front stretch taking lap number one. It'll be Rick Lampy. One lap in as Lampy, your leader. The 11 of Duncan in second. The 9X of McIntyre in third. And two laps in now as McIntyre on the inside of the 11 of Duncan there for a second. McIntyre now. Trying to take over the second spot, but Riley Duncan standing right there with him. As your top three all right there close together, as now McIntyre is on the inside of the 17 L of Lampy. Lampy screwing up the racetrack in turn number two, and that gives the nine of McIntyre more boom as he comes out of turn number four. McIntyre, your new race leader. Jerry McIntyre. Down the back stretch into the turn number three. 17, oh yeah, but Rick Lampy in second. Jerry McIntyre, your leader. And the 17L of Rick Lampy is in second, the 11 of Duncan in third, Gage Guerra in fourth. Well, out in front, the 9 of Jared McIntyre, your late race leader. As McIntyre will come out of turn number four, two more laps to go for the 9X of Jared McIntyre. Darren Burt, valley there with a 24 of Gilbert Rowan, there for fourth, or fifth, excuse me, as the white flag is out, one more lap to go for the 9X of Jared McIntyre. Jared McIntyre coming out of turn number four, check the flag in the air for your B feature one feature winner, the 9X of Jared McIntyre. The 17 of Rick Lampy is second, and the 11 of Riley Duncan third. Here we go, heat race, or B feature race number two, pulling out on the racetrack, starting on the pole. It'll be the 77W of Frank Wiscavage on the outside of him in car number 20J to be Britton Jordan. 
Row number two on the inside, starting third, will be the 414 of Derek Davis. On the outside of him in car number 22, will be Jacob Hall. Row number three on the inside, will be the 57 of Austin Dixon. On the outside of him will be the 15B of Jason Breezy. Row number four on the inside, starting seventh, will be the 9M of Matthew Maines. On the outside of him will be the seven of Patrick Wyatton. Go lights are going off. Looking to go green next time. Frank was cabbage and the 20J of Britain Jordan. Your front row. Flag in the air, we're racing. Frank was cabbage, or leader, Jordan Burton in second. Jordan Burton now on the outside of Frank was cabbage as they come in at turn number four. Taking lap number one, a bit of 20J of Britain Jordan. 77 of Frank was cabbage in second. And the 22 of Jacob Paul in third. Jacob Paul now on the inside of 77 of Frank West Cabbage. Contact made as they go up the racetrack in turn number four. Caution is out. As the 22. And the 77 got collected there in turn number four. in for a caution came out 20J of Britain Jordan your leader the 9M of Matthew Maines Maintenance is yours in second. Green flag back out. Jordan, you are here. 15. 15B of Jason Breezy in second. As they come out of turn number four, down the front stretch. Britton Jordan, out of two car length lead there in front of the 15B of Jason Breezy. J. As the caution flag waves, 
Problems there for the 9M of Matthew Manus. As he was there in third, but the last lap there, he was losing ground. Not sure what all happened there for the 9M of Matthew Manus. I don't know if it was mechanical issues. As he was losing positions and ground there in the 9M of Matthew Manus. Our track safety crew will look over the car, make sure he is all right. As your leader is still the 20J of Britain Jordan. Then second will be the 15B of Jason Breezy. And in third will be the seven of Patrick Wyanton. Then fourth will be the 22 of Jacob Hall. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, to like us on Facebook at Springfield Raceway. If you have not liked us yet, you can follow all the information on our Facebook page at Springfield Raceway all for the upcoming races and information and events. Also, you can follow us at SpringfieldRaceway.com online, or you can download the My Race Pass app and look at the My Race Pass app for all the lineups, the entries, and the schedules. It's time we want to take a thank our few of our sponsors, Casey's General Store. Casey's General Store is a Fort 500 company operating 2,000 convenience stores in 16 states throughout the Midwest. Casey strives to consistently deliver quality gasoline, freshly prepared foods, clean environment, and friendly service at every retail location. Also, a quick reminder, reminder that next weekend, next Saturday night, we will not be here as we'll be getting ready for the following weekend on Saturday, March the 21st for the March Madness. That Friday before will be a test and two night here at Springfield Raceway for the drivers to get prepared for that next day's race in action. The March Madness, $4,000 to win for the late models. A Mods will be on hand with us that night. Midwest Mods, B Mods, Pure Stock, Legends. I'll be racing at our next event. Pit gates open at 1.30 p.m. Grandstands at 4, hot laps at 5, racing at 5, around 5.30. Here we go. Looks like the track is clear. The 20J of Jordan Brit of Britain, Jordan, your leader. 15B of Jason Breezy in second. And a seven of Patrick Wyanton in third. 
The 22 of John Jacob Hall in fourth. Here we go, lights are off, looking to go racing. Green flag back in the air. Britain joining your leader in a 20J. 15B, a breezy in second. As Jordan comes down the front stretch, there's two more laps to go for the 20J of Britain, Jordan. Caution is out, so we got so we got two cars in turn number four. I believe the 22, uh, Jacob Hall. It looks like we got another one there in the middle of turn three and four. All right, looks like you got the tow truck there fired up there. A little problems with our tow truck, but that's what you get on opening night is we'll hook up the car over there to the tow truck and get the track clear and go back racing. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, after the races, the track will be open up for a test and tune. 
We got a few late models here and A mods here that'll be tested and tuning. And that will be open to all the classes. As a few of the late models here getting ready for the two weeks away for the 21st March Madness. So if you guys want to, you can stick around and watch the test and tune after the races. All right, here we go. Lights be going off. Get ready to go racing. Team B, a breezy in second. As a 20J, a Brent Jordan will be featured winner number two.
behind you, it's our mini late model feature coming out on the racetrack now. Here we go. Louis V. You'll be on the pole, the 07 of Scott Sofa. And on the outside of Scott Sofa. I believe it will be the row eight of Wyatt Sofa. Row number two on the inside will be the zero of Art Westbrook. On the outside of Art Westbrook will be the nine, oh nine er of Angela Sofa. Then row number three will be the 99 of Eric Hawkins. On the outside will be the one quarter of Tom Scroggins. And there'll be the 477. And Randall Silva. Lights are going off. We're looking for the green flag next time by to go racing for the A feature. Green flag in the air, we're racing. Scott Sofa, Wyatt Sofa, battling up front there as they go to turn number three. Scott Sofa on the inside, Wyatt Sofa on the outside as they come out of turn number four. Wyatt Sofa taking lap number one. One lap in. As Wyatt Sofa is your leader in the 07, as Scott Sofa in second. The zero of Westbrook in third. And now Scott Silva on the inside of Wyatt Silva as they're battling there for the lead again down the back stretch. Well, caution comes out as the 477 of Randall Silva is on up high in turn number four, bringing out the caution. Your leader was the 2019 track champion. Go 7 of Wyatt Silva. As correction, the 08 of Wyatt Silva. Go 7 is Scott Silva. He's in second. The 0 of Art Westbrook in third. The 99 of Eric Hawkins in fourth. The own honor of Angela Silva in fifth with the one quarter of Tom Scroggins. The end six. The lights are going off. Looking for the green flag next time. Go single foul restart. Replaying here. Wyatt Silva out in front, your leader. Has the 07 of Scott Silva now battling with the zero of Westbrook there for third. Caution down on the speedway though for the one quarter of Tom Strong. As I believe, during that, the 477 of Randall Sofa, we've hit the wall up on turn number four. Our track safety crew will be working on him, making sure he is all right. Wasn't able to see it, but from the reaction from you fans, it looks like you hit it pretty hard, so.
check, check, check. Check, 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 check. Check, check. Test stream. Check, check. Wyatt Silfa, your leader. The Owens here to zero. Westbrook Valley there with the 07 of Scott Silfa. Therefore, second. As now up in second now, the zero. Westbrook now, Westbrook on the inside of Wyatt Silfa, the OA as they come out of turn number four. Wyatt Silva trying to hold off the zero of Westbrook as they come out of turn number four. Here comes Scott Silva. Your top three all close together as they go to turns one and two. Now, Wyatt Silva on the inside of the zero seven of Scott Silva. Westbrook out in front, your leader. Now it looks like problems there for your weight of Wyatt Sofa as he's off at a slow pace there in turns one and two. Out in front now, the zero of Westbrook. Going in, out of turn number two. Coming out of turn number four. One more lap to go for the zero of our Westbrook.
Mark Westbrook coming out of turn number four. Checkered flag in the air for you zero. Mark Westbrook. Row seven. Love Scott Silva second. And great finish there for the, o, the zero of Art Westbrook. Your opening night mini late model feature winner. All right, here we go, our USRA B mod B feature number one. Here we go. So the zero Mark Westbrook making his way out of the bad boy mowers victory lane. Here we go. Lights are off. We get ready for our B feature number one in our USRA B mods. Green flag here, we're racing. Come on, come on, turn number two, your leader. As the 75 of Shannon Edison Polo, in second. The 17H of Weston Hallman battling there with the 98M for third, but out in front the 66 of Gilmore. Gilmore, your leader. As the caution comes out, caution on the speedway. As we got a car in turn number four, I believe the 37, I believe.
Here we go, coming to the line, lights will be going off to 66. So Ryan Gilmore is your leader. 75 of Shannon Eston Polo in second. Two laps in. Eight laps to go. 10 laps is the distance. Here we go, lights are off. Green flag in the air. We're racing. Gilmore come out turn number four. Your leader. 75 is Shannon Anderson Polo in second. Caution is out as we got three cars over there in yeah, turn number four, four cars. I believe the 24, uh, Jerry Ellis, the 28 of Wesley Briggs. Can't see the number on the car there in the middle of turn three and four. And I believe the Steve three will also involve. He'll be making his way to the pits. So we're trying to get the 24 of Jerry Ellis. Give him a push there and get the track cleared as the 66 of Ryan Gilmore is your leader 75 of Shannon Edison Polo in second I believe the 98k of Kitten Allen in third And 17H of Weston Holman, he am fourth. We have 36 B mods checked in for the night. $1,000 to win. Race for opening night. And the 66 of Ryan Gilmore out of Springfield, Missouri, your leader. Seventy-five of Shannon Ensign Polo in second. Ninety-eight K of Kitten Allen in third.
Here we go. Lights be going off. Gilmore, your leader, Shannon Anderson Poe in second. Keaton Allen in third. 17. Green flag in the air. We're racing. Gilmore, come out, turn number four, your leader. The 75 of Shane Anderson Polo in second. 98K of Keaton now and now in second as Shane Anderson Polo off a slow pace there on the back stretch. He'll be making his way into the pit area. Way out in front the 66 of Gilmore, your leader. As Weston Holman, the 17H in third. Keaton Allen in second. Two more laps to go for the 66 of Gilmore. Gilmore crowd, turn number four, right flag in the air, one more lap to go. Gilmore crowd, turn number four, checkered flag in the air for the 66 of Ryan Gilmore. Your B feature, number one winner. Here we go, B feature number two, pulling out onto the quick quarter mile, Springfield Raceway. Twelve adjusting cover on the pole. And on the outside of him, be the ninth team of James Smith, I believe. Row number two on the inside will be the one red. Uh, Dan Wheeler. And on the outside of him will be the 88 of Brand Brady Hutchinson. Row number three on the inside will be the 52 of Jerry Munger. Row number three, lights are off. Green flag in the air, we're racing! Corey Royal here, they're going to the turn number one and two. The 19 of James Smith in second. Caution is out. Caution is out on the speedway. As the 68. Well, Ricky Watkins, I believe, brought out the caution. So on the restart, we'll go single file. 
That's the 68. The Ricky Watkins will tear it to the rear of the field. Your leader, the 12 of Justin Comer in second, the 19 of James Smith. Yeah, I'm third, it'll be the red one of Dan Wheeler. And in fourth, I believe that'll be the 88H of Lonnie Hibner. Here we go. Lights be going off. Two laps in. Eight more laps to go. Comer Wiedemann, turn number three. Lights are off. Looking to fire off. In the middle of turn number four, green flag in the air, race up! Corey cut out the back stretch, your leader, the 19 of Smith in second. As Wheeler, now on the inside of Smith, we're three wide there for a second. We got Wheeler, Smith, and the A.H. of Hibner, but caution comes out. As we got two cars in turn number four, 52 of Joe Rudy, and the 31 of Justin Kraft, bringing out the caution in turn number four. I believe your top four will transfer into the A main. Here we go, your lineup is good. Comer still your leader in the 112. 19 of Smith in second. The red one, Dan Wheeler in third. The 88 of Hibner in fourth. But the 33 of Martin, Danny Martin, in fifth. Lights are off around the quick quarter mile, Springfield Raceway. Green flag in the air, race on. Wheeler and Smith battling there for a second as Comer comes across the line. Still your leader now up in seconds to one win of Wheeler. Smith and Hibner battling there for third. Smith in front of Hibner now. Hibner on the, coming on the outside of the 19 of Smith. Smith goes around in turn number three and four. Caution comes out. Caution comes out for the 19 of James Smith. So the 19 of James Smith will tack to the rear of the field. So still your leader is the 112 of Justin Comer. The in seconds, the one of Dan Wheeler. Yeah, I'm third, it's the 88H of Lonnie Hibner. And fourth, the 33 of Danny Martin. As it looks like the 15 of Caden Stacy getting a push there from the 
push truck there. Hopefully he'll get able to get that thing fired back up. Green flying back in the air, we're racing. Yeah, as we got a pile up on the front stretch, caution flag comes out. So we got the 19 Ellis Tetson Johnson and the 88 of Brady Hutchinson on the front stretch. And I believe the 134 of Robert Hadron Rich also involved there. So we'll line them back up. Yeah. Justin Comer, your leader. Dan Wheeler in second. 88. H of Lonnie Hibner in third. And the 33 of Danny Martin in fourth. Here we go, lights are going off, looking for the green flag. Next time. $1,000 on the line. These drivers trying to get transferred into the ninth A main. Comer lead them in the turn number four. Green flag back out. We're back on the way. Let's race in action. The 12 of Comer going into turn number three. Your leader. As we were in the one trying to hold off the 88H of Hibner. And back in third. Hibner now. Looking on the outside of the one of Wheeler as they go down the back stretch into turn number three. Side by side battle there for a second. Now it's Comer trying to hold off the battle there behind him. As Wheeler to one down low. Get a H of Hitler up high. Comer coming out of turn number four, still your leader. As Comer comes down the front stretch, he will have two more laps to go for the 12 of Justin Comer. The A.H. of Hitler in second, the one of Wheeler in third, the 33 of Martin in fourth. Comer coming out of turn number four. Flagman has a white flag in the air. One more lap to go for the 12 of Justin Comer. Comer just has two more turns and half a straightaway. As he's up high in for turn number four down the front stretch, getting the checkered flag. The 12 of Justin Comer, the eight of Lonnie Hibner, second. And the one of Dan Wheeler, third.
Here we go, our pure stock A main coming out onto the racetrack right now. As they'll roll a few laps in. Get the track rolled in and packed in, getting ready for tonight's race in action. Starting on the pole will be the 23 of Mark Simon on the outside. Uh, Mark Simon will be the 7K of Carl Lampy. Row number two on the inside will be the 124 of James Reedus on the outside of James Reedus starting fourth. It'll be the 5 DJ of DJ Barnes. Row number three on the inside will be the 51 of Randy High on the outside. Starting six, it'll be the 22 of Kyle Purvis. Row number four on the inside will be the 333 of Robert High on the outside of him will be the five of Kyle Rowan. Row number five on the inside, starting ninth will be the 12S of Christopher Sawyers on the outside of him. Starting 10th will be the 11 of Waylon Dimmitt. Row number six on the inside, starting 11th will be the 12 of Parker Smith on the outside of him. Starting 12th will be the 74 of Scott Lampy. Row number seven on the inside, will be the 20 of Jacob Cater on the outside of him will be the 65 of Larry Hedrick. Row number eight on the inside will be the 64 of Brandon S Sanders. And on the outside of him will be 174 of Derek Lampy. And row number nine will be the 13 of Jeremy Townsend. Here we go, getting ready for the Pure Stock feature. Here we go as they come down the front stretch. I believe the lights will be going off. Well, here we go. Lights will be going off. Simon and Carlo Lampy, your front row. Redis and Barnes, row number two. High and Purvis, row number three. Nice and easy pace coming in the turn number four. Green flag in the air, we're racing. Simon off of a great start as he leads him in the turn number two, but we're free wide there for a second. Barnes, Reedus, and Lampy all battling there for a second as they come into turn number three. Come out of turn number four, taking lap number one, leading the 23 of Mark Simon. As James Reedus in second, DJ Barnes in third. The 7 k of Carl Lampy in fourth. Kyle Purvis finishing out your top five as Simon comes out of turn number down the front stretch, taking lap number two. Two laps in. As we're three wide once again, there for the battle for a second. As we're they got a new second place spot, the 124 of James Reedus now up in second. 
three laps in. Still your leader, the 23 of Mark Simon. As the caution comes out, caution on that speedway as we got the 13, uh, Jeremy Townsend. Around there in turn number four, bringing out the caution. Tonight, our pure socks, we're running for 250 to win. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, after the racing action is complete, we'll have our test in tune tonight. So the 13 of Jeremy Townsend will tag the rear of the field there. 23 of Mark Simon, your leader. The 124 of James Reedus in second. The 7K of Carl Lampy in third. The 5 DJ of DJ Barnes in fourth. And the 33 of Robert High in fifth. As the 124, James Reedus now has a choice between the bottom and the top. He chooses the top, so the 7K of Carl Lampy will go on the inside of the 124, James Reedus. Your next row on the inside will be the 5 of DJ Barnes. On the outside of DJ Barnes will be the 33 of Robert High. Your leader, the 23 of Simon. Out in front there by himself as he leads him into turn number three. As Simon will lead him down the front stretch. Keep forming the flagman. We'll be shutting off the lights. Three laps in. Lights are off. Mark Simon, your leader. Nice and easy pace there for the 23 of Mark Simon. As he will fire off here. Green flag in the air. We're racing. Simon, your leader going down to the back stretch. As Robert High and Carl Lampy battling there for third. 124, James Reedus in second as they come out of turn number four. Four laps in. As Robert High now on the inside of the 124 of Reedus as they go into turn number three. Now, three wide the battle there for the lead come out of turn number four. Well, we have a new race leader. Lead in the 33 of Robert High, your new race leader. The caution is out as the 20 of Jacob Cater. I believe that's the 20 of Jacob Cater into the wall on the front stretch there. What a race we were having there for the lead right before the caution came out though. As the 174 of Derek Lampy into the pit area. So we got a new race leader, the 33 of Robert High. He is your new race leader. 23 of Mark Simon in second. The 124 of James Reedus in third. As the 20 of Jacob Cater gets his car fired back up. We'll see if he'll stay on the racetrack or make his way into the pit area. Here we go. So 33 Robert High is your leader. So the 23 of Mark Simon has the choice between the bottom or the top. He chooses the bottom. So the 124 James Reedus will be on the outside of the 23 of Simon. Your next row on the inside will be the 51 of Randy Hyde on the outside of Randy Hyde will be the 7K of Carl Lampy. 
In your next one on the inside will be the five of DJ Barnes. On the outside will be the 22 of Kyle Purvis. Lights are off. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Things ought to get interesting right here. We'll see if the 33 of Robert High will be able to hold off the 23 of Simon and the 124 of Reedus. Here we go, green flag in the air. We're back into racing action. Robert High Cloud, turn number two, your leader. As we're three wide battling there for a second, now two wide between Randy High and Mark Simon there. As here comes the 124 of Reedus now. Reedus now, your new race leader, James Reedus. Coming in at turn number two, your leader, Robert High now on the outside of the 124 of Reedus. As they come across the front stretch here. We're halfway. Next time we'll be halfway through. James Reed is the 124 coming down the front stretch getting the halfway sign as we're halfway through. Robert High staying right there with the 124 of Reedus. The 7K of Carl Lampy. Right there as well, your top three all pretty much right there close together. How's Robert High? Up on the high side around for the quick quarter mile, Springfield Raceway. Trying to find momentum. Trying to get the lead back. As we're now Battling for the lead once again as now Robert High come out of turn number two out in front. Here comes the 7K of Carl Lampy now on the outside of the 124 of Reedus there for a second. As we come out of front stretch, we got a new race leader again, the 33 of Robert High back in the lead. Here comes the 23 of Mark Simon now. Mark Simon on a momentum now as he's on the inside of the 7K of Lampy. Simon and Lampy battling there for a second as they go to turn number three. A car length ahead of him is the 33 of Robert High. Two more laps to go, I believe, for the 33 of Robert High. Simon and Lampy still battling there for a second. As the 33 of Robert High comes out of turn number four, white flag in the air, one more lap to go. Robert High, your leader. Has Robert High getting the checkered flag. Mark Simon, second. What a race there for our pure stocks. We have three different leaders. 33 of Robert Harvey be making his way to the Bad Boy Mowers Victory Lane. Celebrate a great race. The Pures put on a great show like they do each and every Saturday night here at Springfield Raceway. They'll be with us in two weeks for the March Madness on Saturday, March the 21st. As up next will be our legend feature. As the 33 of Robert Hyde down there in the Bad Boy Mowers Victory Lane. Get the picture there coming out of the race car. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Your feature winner, the 33 of Robert Hyde. All right, coming out of the racetrack now is your legend, A-Main. 
Starting on the pole, it'll be the 18 ass of Ryan Sullivan. On the outside of him will be the 95 AM of Mike Mueller. Row number two, starting third, will be the 29 R of Richard Powell. On the outside of him will be the 10 H of Stephen Harshbarger. Row number three on the inside will be 31 of Mike Gilbert. On the outside of Mike Gilbert will be the 33 of Bryson Smith. Row number four on the inside will be the 28 of Steve Harshbarger. On the outside of him will be the 81 of Joe Phillips. In row number five on the inside will be the 29 of Chris Powell, and on the outside of him will be the 01 of Chance Gilbert. And starting in row number six, it'll be the 95 of Scott Kelly. Still looking for that kids ticket for our junior fan week. Five eight zero one four zero. Five eight zero one four zero. A yellow ticket. That's you, your junior race fan of the week. You can come up here to the tower and claim your trophy. All right, looks like the 7K of Carl Lampy hooked up there to the tow truck, so we'll get the track cleared and get ready for our Legend A main. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, throughout the night, the concession stand is open back there. You can help yourself, get you something to drink and eat down there at the concession stand. Here we go. Lights are going off. Sullivan and Miller, your front row. Richard Powell in the 10-H of Stephen Harshbarger, row number two. Green flag in the air, we're racing. So then you're here to come out of turn number two. And a turn number three. Come out of turn number four, so then we'll take lap number one, one lap in. Twenty nine R Richard Powell is in second. Thirty one of Mike Gilbert in third. The ninety five of Mike Mueller in fourth. As Sullivan coming out of turn number four, still your leader, three laps in. Sullivan trying to hold off the 29R of Richard Powell as the 31 of Mike Gilbert in third. Here comes the 20H of Steve Harshbarger. 
As he's on the outside of the 95 and Mueller there for fourth. Sullivan. The 29 of Richard Powell now, your new race leader. 18 of Ryan Sullivan in second. The 31 of Mike Gilbert in third. Richard Powell going into turns one and two. 18 of Sullivan in second. 31 of Gilbert in third. As a 29. Our Powell cut up on lap traffic. We'll see if that can pay a difference in the race here. As we'll see if the 29R will be able to get through lap traffic. He splits the two cars. Coming out of turn number four. Flagman getting them the halfway side. As we're halfway through this race. Is now Sullivan's now. Was looking on the inside on the front stretch. But Powell going into turns one and two. Still your leader. Richard Powell. Now they're in front. Sullivan in second, the 31 of Gilbert in third. As the caution comes out, caution on the speedway. As we got a car and turn of number four, I believe that's the 95 of Mike Mueller. Nine laps in. Twenty nine of Richard Powell, your leader. As he started inside of row number two, the eighteen of Ryan Sullivan in second, the thirty one of Mike Gilbert in third. The 20H of Steve Harshbarger in fourth. With the 29 of Chris Powell in fifth. So the 18 of Ryan Sullivan chosen the outside lane. Lights are off. Green flag this time. Green flag in the air. Race on. Tonight our Richard Powell, your leader. The 18 of Ryan Sullivan in second, the 31 of Mike Gilbert in third. Caution is out those. We got a car on the bottom and the entrance of the front stretch there. So we have not had a winner for our kids' ticket, so I'm going to draw another ticket here. 580-169. 580-169. Yellow ticket. 
580169, kids ticket. That's you, you're a junior race fan of the week. Rain flag back in the air, racer. Richard Powell coming out of turn number four, your leader. Mike Gilbert in second. Powell going into turn number three. Gilbert right behind him there in that second spot as we got a battle there for third between the 20 of Steve Harshbarger and the 18 of Ryan Sullivan. Gilbert now getting ground there on the six, the 29R of Richard Powell. Here comes the 29 of Chris Powell as he is battling up there between the 18 of Ryan Sullivan and the 20 of Steve Harshbarger. As Richard Powell comes down the front stretch, two more laps to go. Coming out of turn number four, white flag in the air. One more lap to go for the 29 of Richard Powell. Powell going into turn number three. Now four. Coming out of turn number four, checkered flag in the air for the 29 R of Richard Powell. The 31 of Mike Gilbert, second. The 20 of Steve Harshbarger, third. Celebration there. As the 29R of Richard Powell will be making his way to the Bad Boy Mowers Victory Lane. As our main events over there in the staging area, the USRAB mods in the staging area, get ready for tonight's $1,000.
All right, so Richard Polo down there in the Bow Boy Mowers victory lane celebrating a great victory. As we get ready for the A main event. All right, ladies and gentlemen, down there in victory lane right now, out of the four out of your top five, did not pass the tech. So, your official pure stock feature winner, the 12S of Christopher Sawyers. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. It's now time for the main event of the evening. The UB Mod $1,000 to win. USRA, here we go. Starting on the pole will be the Starting on the pole, it'll be the 9 H of Nicholas Haynes on the outside. Of Nicholas Haynes will be the 17. Now Mike Striegel. As they get a few laps in here around Springfield Raceway. Packing in that track after watering it down. So starting on the pole will be the 9-H of Nicholas Haynes on the outside of Nicholas Haynes will be a 17 of Mike Striegel. Row number two and on the inside will be a 7-Z of Carter then Dienerberg. On the outside of him will be a 17-X of Jeremy Chambers. Row number three will be 18. Uh, J.C. Morton on the outside of him with a 21 of uh, Jackie Dalton. Row number four on the inside of the 37 of Quint Johnson on the outside of him will be the 65 of Chris Jackson. Lights are off around the quick quarter mile. Springfield Raceway, green flag in the air. We're racing. Stringer wasted no time up there front now as the seven of Carter Van Bim and Dinnerberg in second. The 18 of J.C. Morton in the third spot. As the 17 X of Chambers in fourth. Caution on the speedway as we got two cars in the middle of turns, three and four. As we got the 33.
So the 33 and the one will tag to the rear. Mike Striegel, your leader, the 70 of Vandenberg in second, the 18 of Morton in third, the 17 X of Chambers in fourth. Get the line up here, figure it out. Uh, as a 70 now. And then Nidenberg having a choice between the bottom or the top. We'll see what he chooses. He chooses the bottom, so the 18 of Morton will go on the outside of him. Your next row to be the 17X. The uh, Chambers on the inside. On the outside of him will be the 9H of Haynes. And it'll be the 21 of Dalton on the inside of your next row. And on the outside of him will be last year's USRA national champion, the 65 of Chris Jackson. <clears throat> Lights are off. Green flag near. We're racing. Going out of the back stretch, your leader is Morton's on the outside of the seventh of Vandenberg as they come out of turn number four. Vandenberg and Morton still battling now, as now Morton now win your second spot on the inside of the Striegel. The Striegel pulled away as they go to turn number three. Morton now back on the inside of Striegel as they come out of turn number four. Vandenberg go, stay right there with the 18 of Morton. As well, three wide, come out, turn number two, Striegel. Got, two, got up the racetrack too high, lost two spots there. Now he's in third. So your new race leader is a 7B of Carter Van Dinneberg. And the 18 of Morton is in second. As Jackson battling back there with a 17 of Striegel, therefore third. As now Morton now, your new race leader. They did burn. Still on the inside of Morton as they go down the back stretch. Jackson and Stringle battling back there for the third spot. Your top four battling their four positions. As they did the Bergen, Morton still up front. Battling hard there for the lead. Then the burn down low, Morton up high as they cut out of turn number four. Call shit on the speedway though. Now it's the 9H of Nicholas Haynes in the middle of the infield there in turn number two. So that will bring out the caution. Also got a little piece of the breathe there in turn number two. Thanks for Chris Jackson for putting that out. Our track safety crew will pick that up there.
Here we go, six laps in. Morton, your leader. The 70 of Carter Vandenberg in second. The 65 of Chris Jackson in third. The 17 of Mike Striegel in fourth. Vandenberg chooses the bottom. So Jackson will go on the top side of the 7V of Dan Vandenberg. It'll be Striegel and Dalton. Your next row, Gilmore and McCowan. The two after them. Lights are off. Looking for the green flag this time. Checker, green flag here, racer. Morgan going out of back stretch, your leader. Ben Middleberg and Jackson battling back there for a second. Vandenberg down low, Jackson up high as they come out of turn number four. Morton still your leader. Morton out front. Morton and Jackson losing the top weight around the quick quarter mile Springfield Raceway as the 7 V of Carter did Vandenberg down low all by himself. As Morton Five up high around the quick quarter mile, Springfield Raceway. Jackson. Digging up there off of turn number four. Trying to find some minimum off as he comes down the front stretch. Band of the bird. What a great job there, battling with the 65 at Jackson. As they're in two different places on the racetrack. Vandenberg down low, Jackson up high as they come down the front stretch. As they're battling there for a second, a good opportunity for Morton to extend his lead. As they come out of turn number four. Jackson in your second spot has his eyes set on the 18 of Morton. Two former national champions. Your top two. Will Jackson have enough time to catch the 18 of Morton? Gilmore in fourth. As McCowan and Dalton battling back here to be in the top five. Morton Canal turn number four. Jackson will be able to catch the 18 of Morton as we got a car off a slow pace out of the bear stretch. He pulls into the infield. Steve gets out of the way. Great job by that car. As the leader, J.C. Morton coming out of turn number two. J.C. Morton, two more laps to go. Two more laps to go for the 18 at J.C. Morton. Gilmore. He's going up high. As he's trying to get in front of the 7D of Carter Van Nittenberg. Finish out third. One more lap to go though for the 18 of J.C. Morton. $1,000 on the line. Two more turns and half a straightaway. As they come down the front stretch, check and flag in the air for the 18 of J.C. Morton. Chris Jackson second, and a close finish there for third.
So the 18 of J.C. Morton, your USRA B Mod, $1,000 to win, feature winner. 65 of Chris Jackson, second. And a 70 of Carter Van Nineberg, third. He has the 18 of J.C. Morton. Making his way down there to the Bad Boy Mowers Victory Lane. Has our final feature of the evening. Get ready to pull out onto the racetrack. For fans that are heading out, don't forget where we will be off next weekend. And we'll be back the following weekend on Saturday, March the 21st for the March Madness. A big night of racing here at Springfield Raceway. The end of the month of March. Here we go, J.C. Morton down there in the Bad Boy Mowers Victory Lane celebrating his USRA B-Mod feature win as the Midwest Mods out on the racetrack now for their a bay Here we go. Starting on the pole to be the 45 of Colt Cheevers as the 18 of J.C. Morton out of the race car there. Still breaking down in the Bad Boy Mowers victory lane. On the outside of the 45 of Colt Cheevers be the 20 of Jeremy Leahy. Run number two on the inside will be the 12 M of Ron Maples. On the outside of him will be the 59 of Rob Muhlenberg. Row number three on the inside will be the 55 of Kyle Rafferty. On the outside of him will be the line H of Cameron Hayes. Row number four starting seventh will be the 83 of Scott Campbell, your 2019 track champion in the Midwest Mod A class. On the outside of him will be the one of Nathan Breezy. Row number five on the inside will be the 742 of Justin Asher. On the outside of him will be the 33 of Jared Martin. Row number six on the inside will be the 16 of Tim Bowens. And on the outside of him will be the 6H of Will Hipton. Row number seven on the inside will be the 9X of Jared McIntyre. On the outside of him will be the 20J of Britton Jordan. Row number eight on the inside will be the 17L of Rick Lampy. On the outside of him will be the 15B of Jason Breezy. Row number nine on the inside will be the R11 of Riley Duncan. On the outside of him will be the 77 of Frank West Cabbage. In row number 10 will be the 75 of Gage Gearock. And on the outside of him will be the 7 of Patrick Whittington. Believe 20 laps will be your distance in tonight's Midwest Mod A main. Here we go as they come down the front stretch. The lights will be going off. Green flag in the air, we're racing. Chambers out in front down the back stretch, the 20 of way, he in second. 59 of Muhlenberg in third. As they come out of turn number four, one lap in for the 45 of Colt Chambers. Campbell and Maples battling back there to get in the top five. As Campbell is in front of the 12M of Maples. Two laps in those still your leaders, the 45 of Colt Cheapers. The 20 of Leahy battling with the 59 of Muhlenberg. Muhlenberg on the inside, Leahy on the outside as they come into turn three and four. 
Three laps in. Cheever is out in front. Gillenburn now up in second. Caution on this speedway. So we got two cars there in turn number two. The 75 of Gage Garrock, the 77 of Frank Les Cavage bringing out the caution. Three laps in. So you get the tow truck there, get the push there for the 75 of Gage Garrett. Once again, I want to thank our partners, sponsor partners for the 2020 racing season. O'Reilly Auto Parts, SRC Holdings, Hayden Machinery, Indigo Sky Casino, Casey's General Store, Willard Metals, Pepsi, Bad Boy Millers, Price Electric Company, all coming on board for the 2020 racing season. So the 45 of Colt Cheevers, your leader. The 59 of Rob Muhlenberg in second. The 20 of Jeremy Leahy in third. The 9H of Cameron Haynes in fourth. And the 83 of Scott Campbell in fifth. So 59 of Rob Milnberg now having a choice between the bottom or the top. He chooses the bottom, so the 20 of Jeremy Leahy will go on the outside of him. Your next row on the inside of me, the 9H of Cameron Haynes, and on the outside of him with 83 of Scott Campbell. Two after that will be the 12 M of Ron Maples and the 55 of Kyle Lafferty. The lights are going off. We'll see the green flag this time. The final race to kick off the 2020 racing season. On this great day in March. Great way to end a great, beautiful Saturday right here at Springfield Raceway. Great flag back here, we're racing. Cheevers, who are we are going to the turn number four. Dylan Berg and Leahy battling back there for a second. 
as Campbell now on the inside of the 59 of Muhlenberg. Campbell sliding up in front of the 59 of Muhlenberg and now he's in your third spot. Campbell and Leahy. Campbell in second, Leahy in third. Out in front though, still the 45 at Cheevers. A3 of Campbell in second, the 20 of Leahy in third, the 9H of Haynes in fourth. will come back around. He'll be, sh be showing the halfway sign as we're halfway through this race this time. As Cheevers comes out of turn number four, she's being shown the halfway sign as we're halfway through this race. Campbell still in second. The 20 of Leahy in third. Haynes in the 9H in fourth. The 9X of McIntyre. The M5. Haynes getting ground there on the 20 of Leahy. Haynes going down low, Leahy up high as they come out of turn number four. Out in front still the 45 of Colt Cheevers. Cheevers going in the one and two. Campbell in second. As McIntyre cautions out, caution on the speedway. We got a car turn in the middle of turn number four. Don't forget, ladies and gentlemen, after the racing action is completed, we'll have our test in tune for these. For all classes, test in tune for all classes after the checkered flag waves. Fourteen laps in, six more laps to go in this Midwest mod. A feature. So Colt Teamers, your leader, the 83 of Campbell, and the 20 of Leahy, your next row. The 9H of Haynes, and on the outside of him, the 9X of 
Jared McIntyre. Here we go. Six laps left in this feature. Will anybody have anything for the 45 of Colt Cheevers? Green flag in the air, racing. <laughs> Cheevers going to turn number three out in front all by himself as Campbell. In second, the 20 of Leahy on the outside of Campbell as they go to turn number one. Campbell down low, Leahy up high. Here comes the 9X of McIntyre as he's right behind the two. As Campbell goes down low, Leahy up high as they come out of turn number four. Still out in front, those are 45 achievers. Caution now. Caution on the speedway for the 11 of Riley Duncan. So 11 of Riley Duncan bringing out the caution there as he's spun around there in turn number four. 16 laps in, I believe. Four more laps to go. So the 45 of Colt Chevers, your leader, the 83 of Scott Campbell in second, the 20 of Jeremy Leahy in third, the 9X of Jared McIntyre in fourth, the 9H of Haynes in fifth. As the 83 of Campbell has the choice between the bottom and the top, he is in the bottom, so the 20 of Jeremy Leahy running outside of him. Four laps remaining. Here we go. Green flag back in the air. We're racing. <laughs> Chambers earlier coming down the front stretch. Lay. In second, 83 of Campbell. In third is the 9X of Jerry McIntyre and the 9H of Haynes battling back there for fourth. Caution on the speedway. As we got a car off of turn number one. Seventeen laps down, three more laps to go. The 
Don't forget, quick reminder, if you have not liked us on Facebook, look us up at Springfield Raceway on Facebook. Follow us throughout the week and get more details on the upcoming events, especially the March Madness. Also, you can find us on the web at springfieldraceway.com.